bandages are made of various materials, among which is the main support called ETS, a fabric which is elastic in only one direction. It's a fabric which will become the adhesive portion of the bandage. This 1800 meter roll of fabric can make 1.8 million small bandages or 300,000 large bandages. A thin coating of glue is applied on one surface of the fabric. Then it's heated to 49 degrees centigrade in an oven to puff it up, creating holes in the glue coating. Then the fabric is newly rolled up into 300 meter length. Bandages are of different sizes. These blades cut the glue rolls into strips of varying widths. These rolls are taken away and stacked, ready for the next step application of the little cushion protective pad. The material used for the pads are shown here as a large roll of fabric which will have to be cut. Here a machine cuts the fabric pads. These extremely sharp blades have to be sharpened every six months. The cushion fabric is separated into narrow strips which will later be glued to the ETS fabric. The strips of cushion fabric are now ready to be applied to the bandage. This is the machine that fabricates the bandages. The roll of bandage components is unrolled. The machine assembles them, then cuts and individually wraps them. wrapped one by one. This machine applies the unprinted white wrapping paper, which protects the bandages. And now they proceed to packaging. Packaging speed depends on the product, varying between 300 and 1,500 bandages a minute. This roller perforates holes, which will allow the bandages to be easily separated from one another. Strips of bandages are then placed into boxes. Here we see other small bandages which are made in a different way. The cushion strip is positioned at the center of the ETS fabric strip. The cushion's pad isn't sterile at this stage. They will have to be sterilized right at the end of the fabrication process. Next step, applying two plastic paper protectors over the glue covered ends of the bandage. This done, the bandage is drawn by suction with a robotic arm and placed between two wrapping papers. In slow motion, we see the wrapping action better. This machine is much faster than the eye. At full speed, it can wrap 300 bandages a minute. The bandages exit the machine perfectly wrapped. types of bandages have to go through a sequential bandage machine to have aeration holes pierced in them. These holes allow air to circulate and thus help promote healing. These bandages are now ready. Sometimes they print instructions on bandage wrappers. This paper printing machine is used in bandage machines. Two polymer plates receive ink from a series of rollers in order to reproduce the desired design. The bandages pass through at high speed. Before being packaged, the bandages are finally sterilized 10,000 at a time. Bandages are automatically counted here, placed in a chute, and fall into the packaging box. The large roll of GPS fabrics at the beginning will have allowed them to make here Bandages. Each year, this facility produces a staggering 4 billion bandages in 65 different models. Adhesive tape was invented in 1925 as a painter's masking tape for auto body shops. That led to transparent tape, designed to seal the cellophane wrap used by the food industry. Then tape was introduced as a household item, and the idea just stuck. These rolls of plastic film, called polypropylene, are on their way to becoming shipping tape. 
the rolls go on a machine called the unwinder. Workers then position a strip of adhesive splicing tape along the end of each roll. This will enable them to connect one roll after another, creating an uninterrupted feed to the production line. Now watch closely. Once a roll unwinds completely, its end sticks onto the splicing tape at the beginning of the next roll. Once that roll's unwound, its end will stick to the beginning of the next, and so on. An automatic tension adjuster ensures that the machine pulls the film evenly to prevent ripping. The unwinder also applies a solvent to the film surface. This prevents the film from sticking while unrolling. To transform this film into tape, they coat one side with a hot adhesive known as hot melt, made from several ingredients. Synthetic rubber gives it flexibility. A UV protector keeps it from drying and discoloring, while an antioxidant prevents aging. Synthetic resin makes it sticky, while pigmentation oil provides a choice of colors, in this case, tan. They load the hot melt into a preheated holding tank, which maintains it at a piping 200 degrees Celsius to keep it from hardening. The tank pumps the adhesive to a machine called the gluer. They wipe away the excess, then roll the film. And there goes the adhesive. A cooling roller, that black one on the top, immediately hardens it. A computerized sensor ensures there is an even coat of adhesive. If not, it automatically signals the pump to adjust the output. Now, a machine called the Rewinder rolls the tape onto spools. Remember the unwinder that spliced the rolls together? Well, the Rewinder unsplices them. When a spool fills, a knife separates the tape at the splice point so that winding can begin on the next spool. The tape on just one of these spools would run the length of 85 football fields. The spools feed a row of sharp razor blades called the slitters, which divide the meter and a half wide tape into several strips. Shipping tape is 48 millimeters wide, so they get 31 strips per spool. Each strip winds onto a cardboard core, its end sealed with a tab. The length of tape per roll varies according to the customer's specifications. As the machine ejects the finished tape rolls, in comes the next batch of cardboard cores. Then it's off to the packaging department. Nothing shipped out, however, before a quality control check. They test a sample roll for each spool. In one test, they unroll the tape sticky side up, then release a tiny stainless steel ball down an incline, measuring how far the ball rolls before it sticks and comes to a stop. To pass the test, the ball has to adhere within a certain distance. The stopping distance varies depending on the type of adhesive tape.